Fran Zeman would like to ask you, you're good with tail whips, but in some interview you said that you hate them. So what's the final answer about tail whips? I think that you got them dialed. They look so smooth. Nah. <laughs> I can do tail whips maybe like hop whips probably one and five and they just feel real gross. I've seen you on some good days. Good days, yeah. They've, yeah. I've but seen, those, I've seen, I've seen you with the hop whips that are like bar spins. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of them. They're fun on the good days, but those don't come very often. So, Fabio Mago asks, how do you think your style and your way of riding has changed over the past couple of years? Um, I feel like more at the beginning, I was kind of just, I guess more about like, the setups where you didn't have to try a bunch of times, you know? Like, more of the bigger setups where you just do it once or you don't do it at all. But now I kind of feel like I'm more into riding the smaller, like, technical setups. It's a little bit, you know, less scary, just more strenuous on the mind. Brian Rios would like to know, Nathan, 2011, I noticed that was a big year for you. You had so many new amazing edits, you even went to four pegs something motivate you to push yourself harder or yeah I mean nothing really pushed me to like ride harder or anything the four pegs just kind of came because I, I think it was one day me and Dakota went to that Nice park one morning and decided we were gonna put on four pegs for that session and it was fun and I just left them on um, it was kind of like relearning how to ride in a sense with some things just because it opened up a lot more things for me so yeah I guess that's kind of what motivated me really um, just thinking of other new grinds and what not to do. Um, as far as motivation, um, in 2011, that's when United did the California house. And so I was living out there for that, and then we ended up staying a couple months after. So it was kind of about eight months that we were out there. And um, I feel like that kind of motivated me the most, just being in a fresh city and all new spots. And, you know, it just kind of got me motivated I guess. So. Brenton Gutter asks, when you go out riding do you ever have chill days with your homies or do you always have projects that you're filming or shooting for? Uh, no, most of the time when I'm home every day is just going out piddling around basically it seems like and sometimes things happen like we'll usually bring the camera every time but most days we don't film anything we just kind of end up messing around at the park or doing whatever really. Uh, Nathan, Javier Valenzuela, well, I guess if we would like the first state, Nathan, you are my favorite rider. Would you ever want to come to Puerto Rico? And how does it feel to have a signature shoe with Etnies? Thank you very much, by the way, for the compliment. I appreciate that. Um, I would love to come to Puerto Rico. I always remember that, was it the fit trip that they did mm -hmm. to Puerto Rico? I always just thought it looked cool and, you know. And about having a shoe through Etnies, you know, that's definitely a huge honor for me. I've been riding Etnies since I was a kid, basically. Um, I always rode in the Vallely or the, what was, uh, Taj's shoe. Roscoe. Roscoe. So, yeah, that's definitely a huge honor for me. Um, you know, the shoes have been great. They, they hold up just like they're supposed to, so I couldn't ask for anything more. So, thanks for the question. All right, Nathan, Edwin Garcia would like to know, why do you not do tuck no handers as much anymore? Also, who's your favorite rider and favorite person to ride with? Um, I don't do tuck no handers as much anymore just because I did them a lot back in the day and just kind of got boring for me to keep doing them. Don't do them as much, but um, yeah, I still do them every once in a while. Favorite rider, I'll do all, I guess all time favorite rider. I'd probably say Aiken. I grew up just loving that dude and yep. still love that dude, so I'd probably say him. Uh, favorite rider to ride with? All my friends at home. Those are my favorite people to ride with. I'm your, not going to pick one. Your peeps. Yeah, you can't pick one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All my friends back home, you know, my homies. Peeps. The homes. Nathan, Terry Adams, I'd like to know, what's your first bike trick you ever learned? How long did it take? It was an X-Up, and it was on a, like, mulch mound that I had, like, made a lip out of. And I put a board over it, and the board was wet, so it kind of, like, formed to the lip. And uh, yeah, yeah, earned X ups over that. And it took me, I don't know, 20 minutes. Seems about right for an X up. 
don't know. <laughs> Put a time <laughs> limit on it. Yeah, it took 20 minutes to learn that trick. That's nothing, man. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, I don't remember how long, but I just remember it like happening, and I was like so stoked. I went inside and like called my friend, and I was like, dude, do the next. But it only took me 20 minutes. It, yeah. I don't know. I guess it didn't take me that long. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>